Hello lovely people, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. Today I'm going to do a colour long in this Autumn Scenes by Teresa Goodrich book and the choice for the page would be this page but I have um, which I have uh, put up on the my community tab and I have actually printed out another copy of it to so that I can you know color again sometime and I've put a few tabs for some choices that I would love to color so I'm going to uh, color in the girl first and without further ado let's get started yeah this is also a body color with um and beans okay dawn right let's get started i will color in her jumper and i thought i would choose a rather optimal color Crimson Lake. Yeah, it's fine. I have not actually, you know, really chose any colors for this. Just thought it would go along with um, this. Uh, colors around her, the leaves. And I thought this color would be suitable for her jumper. I've got a jumper which is slightly darker in colour, more of a magenta colour. And her gloves, I would colour in pink. These are actually my colour combination if I were to wear them myself. a bit of a depth warm grey 90 then to brighten things up a bit magenta Warm grey, I think um, a bit of dark brown would works as well. Our clothes under here. Um, warm grey, ninety. It has been some time that I coloured clothes. <laughs> I've been always colouring uh, flowers, things like that. So crimson lake again. Let's blend them in.
this paper I printed it on is just it's not uh, a watercolor paper or, or pen, uh, art paper it's just the uh, slightly thicker paper for printer I think it does work for with Prisma colors so just go with it now the gray part warm gray the shadows you know how folds this part Uh, the same crimson leg It's knowing where you are. It's not where I am. I've read in the news that there are some parts of in the world which is already snowing and you're experiencing like really really heavy snow. So, and the surge, COVID surge, the surge in the, you know, is rising. Ah, this is all, you know. Magenta. People are, some, I am really wishing everything would go back to normal soon because I want to travel. bit of pink um what is this blush pink yeah let's give it a little bit of you know the light and the flower the flower as usual i would always go in with yellow and my choice would be yellow ochre no mm. <laughs> this canary yellow again could be pink but is, are there any more flowers I don't see any more flowers oh that, that's the flower on her jumper my goodness <laughs> can you imagine goodness it's a flower on her jumper it's not the flowers it's like the what am I like <laughs> um PC one zero zero two. But anyway, it wo it works. It's a contrast to you know her the her jumper color. <laughs> what am I like? Magenta. okay let's do her face uh, which i think i will color in with um 
maybe eggshell or beige. Let me see. Eggshell. This is eggshell. This is also eggshell. Um, eggshell then. I don't know where my beige is. I think this is beige. Sorry. <laughs> beige. I would color it in with beige. a bit of a brighter tone than eggshell Burnt Umber Lips for oh, the of a uh, red there, eh? crimson red. And maybe she's smiling. What's inside? <laughs> um, her teeth. So just leave it white. Mm. It's like grey. Cool grey, you know, this, this looks a bit odd. <laughs> um, yeah, just leave it white because uh, it you we would see her teeth, right? Her hair. I would color in with a yellow ochre. Light umber. Um, yellow ochre again. Okay, now 
for the flower pink um, maybe red combine red center with the yellow and to match her jumper crimson lake right crimson lake the bottom woolly jumper This um, blush pink, the highlight part. Um. Scarf, no, her, her, her gloves. Gloves I would colour in blush pink. Crimson Lake Blush Pink yellow and the scarf I would colour in a light layer of uh, set green light first and just give it a bit of contrast between her jumper and the scarf so they wouldn't be boring could be pink but pink would be a bit boring Kelly Green, my favorite combination.
dark green. This part here, dark green. It would be the same, be the same, except green light. Oh, there's another part of a scarf behind here. So, set green light. Kelly green. Just a small part. And dark green. Is this looking now? This part here, mm, the tassels, which is red, this part dark green. The tassels, I think, um, yellow ochre. Let's give it and. This uh, light umber. Okay, and it's a, it's a trouble to see shop now. Um, well, it's Either yellow valleys or hmm, red valleys, or I think I would color in yellow valleys. Yeah, yellow valleys. This is uh, yellow ochre. And the trousers here, I think I would color in with um, Kelly green as well because, no, sap green light because to match uh, the scarf. I, I was thinking of doing it dark blue, but never mind sap green light because. Um, a scarf, a scarf. I'm, th I'm thinking as I go, I have no actual, I've not actually planned this, what colors I want to use. Just color as, uh, as I go. Actually, also to add some color, some green, to so that this girl will stand out in this uh, leaves, autumn leaves. What's this girl's name? She's definitely not Anne. Could be Anne. <laughs> Julie? Shall I name her Julie? Or what name uh, do you think she what name do you think she is? Julie? Lucy J 
Jane Kelp Green Opaly Green Name her Jane then What name would you give her? I think I'll call her Jane Dark green. This is a uh, dark green. Are we okay? Yeah, yeah. Green, set green, no, to be green, set green light. Where's my set green light? Hi, it's gone. Yeah, this is Kelly Green. Okay, this is a uh, set green light. Did I actually color the? Uh, yeah, it's set green light. Oh, did I just color it in? It is set green light, or was it Kelly Green? <laughs> anyway. This is a uh, set green light. Blend it all in. I could have made a mistake, right? <laughs> but anyway, it's either a uh, set green light or Kelly Green. One of those. <laughs> what am I like? Hmm. Okay, oh, her, her bellies, this part of her bellies. Mm. Yellow ochre. She's uh, done. So maybe a yellow ochre for the flowers. Oh, oh. Orange for a little bit of color here. And maybe orange or pumpkin orange. Do I have pumpkin orange? No, mineral orange. Okay, and then this uh, mineral orange for what, the leaves here. Some parts, just to color in a little bit first. Mineral orange. You know, just some of the leaves randomly. So we will, this is a yellow ochre, just for, you know, finish up the leaves here. Okay, I shall stop here for part one. And tomorrow I will, we will continue in with um, 
maybe the background, the leaves part and uh, the, the bird, the, this uh, bird house. Okay, so thanks for watching and happy colouring. Take care and happy colouring. I shall see you again in the next video. And if you like videos like this, do uh, give me a cheeky thumbs up. And uh, if you're new here, do subscribe. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.